Oh my goodness, y'all. Let me figure this out. I'm using some new software. Let's take that off and take that off. Let's see, did I charge my device? No. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Charged. All right, so let me take the music off. I'm testing you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, how do I take off the music? Okay, um, I'm trying some new software. So those of you all that have been with me and you're used to the um, choppy sound, uh, please let me know how it's going. And uh, hopefully everything is... Uh, good and crystal clear. I hear a little bit of an echo, but if you all don't, then we're totally fine. We will keep going. But for anybody new here, please allow me to introduce myself. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef. Clearly, I am not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a mom and a home cooker uh, sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Whatever brings you here, you are most welcome. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. And speaking of family-friendly, I see Miss Tasha Arnett in the house watching from Facebook saying, Hi, Miss Maggie. Hello, my dear. Thank you all so much for being here. All right. So if you all watched me yesterday, I struggle cooked with uh, Cooking with Aisha. It was incredibly fun. I'm still watching the replay and I'll clip it up for you all. Um, I'm just always so grateful that she's included me <laughs> on her uh, cooking demonstrations as well. But um, I have been struggling with the salmon that I've had in the fridge that I need to use. And so today is the day we are going to use it. Who do we have here? 10 plus sounds in the house. You all know him and love him. He is the brains behind the brand when it comes to all of this incredible artwork. He made this uh, thumbnail. He makes this thumbnail and so many good things. Y'all please check him out. 10 plus sounds is the name of his YouTube channel. You can also find him on buy me a coffee. He has one-time services, bulk services. I'm part of his subscription service cannot speak highly enough about this brother. Uh, he actually has the eye for a designer because you all know I cannot draw. You have told me that. So, <laughs> oh, that's right. I thought about you, Tim Plesson. The salmon, yay, the salmon. So if anybody else would like to be counted present in class, feel free to announce yourself. If you prefer to watch from the clouds, you are more than welcome here. All right, so we're going to clean the counters. I'm going to get my uniform on, wash my hands, and we're going to get started. But yes, let's see how our counter is looking. All right, and let me see if I can get a better view, y'all. Okay, not bad. We have Nicole in the house, Nicole Soto. Thank you so much for being here, sweetheart. All right, so I have this salmon, and it's just me. The boys are at their dad, and it is humongous. I mean, literally, it's like <laughs> longer than my arm. I guess with the fingertips and everything, it's long. So you all know I'm a huge fan of the grocery delivery services. I have shared this with you all. I have subscription services to Instacart. I have subscription services to Shipt. I have subscription services to Walmart Plus, Amazon Prime. There's so many of them. I love them. If you like to go up and down the aisles like my parents do, feel free to do that. But I do work from home. I work in technology. And um, there's a couple reasons why I like the services, and I'll let you all know. We have Living Out Loud, the podcast in the house. Hello, ma'am. Thank you so much for being here. You all, please check out Christine. She also has a YouTube channel. She's one of the elders in our community. She is... Uh, uh, having a milestone birthday this year and getting into her gardening and artwork and uh, that's what her YouTube channel is about sharing that journey with us in her own words so thank you so much for being here and if you all ever have a YouTube channel please come through I'd love to shout you all out you are here to support me so I always want to support you okay so we're talking about these grocery delivery services and talking about this monstrosity of salmon so 
uh, in all seriousness, and I was doing the grocery delivery services before the pandemic for a couple of reasons. Uh, I know one of my struggles is impulse buying. I will go into the store with a list of just a few things, and then I will come out with $300 worth of stuff that I don't need because it was on sale or the display looked good. I don't know if anybody else can relate to that. Uh, so I started using the discount, ser the delivery services as I heard about them because it was a way for me to save money and stick to my list. Oh, you're so welcome. No problem, Christine. Okay, so these are subscription services, meaning you pay for the year or they may have a monthly rate. I'm not sure. I usually just pay for the year because you get a discount that way. Nicole says, you struggle with impulse buying as well. Hello, I'm not alone. You all understand. Um, okay, so um, I can't remember the first one that I did, but I, I do all of them now. But I just like to explain here uh, kind of what I'm doing. I take my time, you all. I'm old and slow. You know, I have to fast paced cook with Miss Aisha. She is incredible, but uh, I just take my time here. So kick back and relax. We're going to get to the salmon, but um, when I started my YouTube channel, I really didn't think anybody would care because it's just me cooking, but you all have shared with me that, you know, when I say things just kind of in passing, people are like, oh, tell me more about that. And so I have to realize that we are all on our own um, cooking journey, maybe a health and wellness journey, maybe a shopping journey. So I do love sharing with you all. Okay, so the subscription services are usually about $100 a year, so like $99 for the year. So it is an investment. However, uh, with 52 weeks in a year, that breaks down to about $2 per week. Hello, Osavis. Thank you for being here. So for me, for $2 per week for unlimited delivery, it is worth it because I do work from home. I work in technology. Um, for me to go to the store, and I have all my services at home, I know, I know, but I've strategically planned it that way. Um, and not only would I waste money, but then I would end up buying stuff that I didn't need to eat on my health and wellness journey. So to get out of the house, you know, get in the car, drive somewhere, park, go up and down the aisles, buy stuff that I don't need, wait in the line, you know, then to bring it all home, for me, I prefer not to do that. And I do have discount codes for you all. If you look in the description, I think it's in the class notes, you will find some discount codes that I have for you all. You can try it for free. Uh, so these services, Instacart, Shipped, Walmart, um, Amazon, there's probably more than that. What they do is they will partner with the local grocery stores in your area. So if nothing else, it's good to go and put your zip code in so you can see what stores deliver to your area. And then you can decide if it's something that you want to do. Um, a couple of hacks. They will shop at some of the stores that I don't have close to me. So, for example, Costco is not close to me. But with the Instacart, if I want to get something from Costco, it's all there in the app. Uh, likewise, you don't have to have a membership to the uh, specialty stores if you're already paying for Instacart. So, I don't know how much Sam's Club is per year, but I've been paying for a Sam's Club membership and I only go like twice a year. We have a stream sponsor coming through already. Stream sponsors come to the front of the class. You all know him and love him. No comment, no question, just the pure love of the snacks. None other than the Real Bravado Network. So generous to me on this channel. Please check him out. He has a YouTube channel as well. He has conversations about relationships. He is a strong brother in the community. And I appreciate you so, so much with the $10 super, super sticker. I didn't find $10 laying around today, so I appreciate everything you all are sending me across the pond with the Flued Out Fund. I appreciate you so much. So in my class, the stream sponsors go on the Struggle Stream whiteboard, which is the microwave, okay? So everything here is classroom related. So let me get uh, Real Bravado up on the, um, the uh, board and then we will continue, all right? So as always, bravo to 
to Mr. Bravado. Thank you kindly. I appreciate it so, so much. Who else do we have here? We have Almond Eyes in the house. Hello, my dear. Almond Eyes, also part of the lead attorney community, and she has a YouTube channel. Please check her out. She does reactions and uh, shares her thoughts with us. We have Miss Strong in the house, also a content creator. She has a YouTube channel where she cooks. She's been on her own fitness and health and wellness journey. I did a consult with her so I could get my cookbook off the ground because you do need a cookbook. And uh, I am making my way through that. I have a goal to get it done this month and I will because I'm going to take it across the pond. All right, so where were we? I was just rambling about these um subscription services or delivery services. So you don't have to have a um, a membership to like Sam's Club or any of these places. If you're already paying for Instacart, um, they will go shop these other stores. So that's one hack that I love. Another thing that I love is you can change the delivery address to wherever you are or wherever you want your delivery to go. So as a mom, I've got, you know, kids, one's in boarding school, one's in the military school, uh, one's in like regular school. When they need cases of water and stuff like that for field day, I'm not carrying that. No, I say change the delivery address to the school and just ship, send everything their way. So just a few hacks for you all. Uh, lastly, if I'm traveling on vacation, get a cabin or something like that, I order groceries there so I don't have to arrive somewhere and then go grocery shopping. So just a little hack. So the reason, 10 plus for the flute out fun. <laughs> Absolutely, I appreciate it all. Y'all have been so kind. Okay, so the point I was making is with this, ridiculously big salmon and this isn't even the whole filet as long as my arm it's wrapped up you can see the tail it kind of wraps up but we have got to cook this and i feel horrible because it's just me maybe i'll ask my airbnb guest if he wants any so when i placed my order i asked for one pound now here's the thing with the grocery delivery services they will try to find exactly what you ask for However, if they can't, they do give you some options. You can either say, nope, if it's not the exact name brand or the exact thing, I don't want it. And they'll just take it off of your order. Or you can ask them to substitute. Uh, and I don't mind substitution. So they'll <laughs> clearly, I'm your substitute teacher. So I will accept the next best thing. But when I asked for one pound, what I got was three pounds, okay? three pounds of salmon. What in the world am I going to do with three pounds of salmon? So when we had Miss Aisha on yesterday, she said that we could stuff the salmon. I have never stuffed salmon before. So that's what we're going to do in today's class, you all. So have I ever made it before? No. Has that ever stopped me? No. So we are going to make a little paste. Um, I think the recipe calls for like cream cheese and Spanish, Spanish, spinach and some other stuff in there. Um, Miss Aisha gave me a recipe yesterday that I could use my substitutes. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to cut this into little sections, sliver, and then put the uh, stuffing inside. And then we'll pan fry a couple. Maybe we'll refrigerate a couple. Maybe we'll freeze a couple. And then when I get down to the tail or any part that I can't stuff, I think I'll do the crispy salmon Cajun bites that you all voted on from last time. So that is my uh, story for you. Uh, who do we have here? What does Miss Strong say? They don't have smaller portions of salmon at Sam's and Costco. And that is my fault. So this came from Sam's Club, as you all can see. And I should have known. I probably wanted large uh, quantities of paper products, like paper towels or whatever. And I should have known that I was going to get this big old mamma jamma. Um, so next time, Kroger Republics will get my salmon order. So, uh, but we don't want to waste. Groceries are expensive. This is expensive. So let's see what we can do. We got Sandra in the house. Hello, sweetheart. She says, hello, Miss Maggie. Thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you all being here. And thank you for liking the live stream. I can see the likes on this uh, on this software. So as you all come in, please click the like button. It's always free to like, share, subscribe, comment, be in the live chat. All of that is free and it helps the channel to grow and I appreciate it so, so much. So thank you for liking the live stream. All right, so let's put this up here. Let me get my recipe. Let's clean the counter, wash my hands, and we are going to get started. And if you all have any salmon recipes that you really love, 
I'd love to know because we got a lot of salmon. <laughs> oh, and happy Thursday. Thank you so much for being here. I love cooking for y'all. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Sorry, I had some eggshells. I was snacking on uh, boiled eggs earlier. Um, I've completely changed the way I eat and snack. Um, I'm down 80 pounds with at least 20 more to go, but what I eat mostly is like lean protein. So I had some eggshells in the sink. All right, Maggie Merch, welcome to class, everyone. Um, I'm going to be... <laughs> creating the other aprons you all have asked for team greedy merch but we have um aprons multiple sizes multiple colors customize them the way that you like and um kid sizes you can put your name on them you can personalize them for free so i'm going to get you all your hashtag team greedy merch uh aprons are about twenty dollars all right so you can see what does Miss Strong say? You have a curry salmon recipe on your channel. Okay, uh, I will check it out. Um, is the recipe on there? Yeah, I'll pull it up while you're here, no problem. Hello, Padilla, thank you so much for being here. All right, so um, let's look at this recipe. I didn't print it out. We're just gonna go through it in the iPad and we'll take a look at Miss um, Strong's curry salmon recipe, see if I have the ingredients. If you wanna list them, I'll see if, uh, if I have it in stock. <clears throat> But we are definitely going to make the um, um, stuffed salmon. What I have is, uh, I'll walk you guys through everything, but I have some spinach and we have some goat's cheese. So I took everything out of the fridge um, maybe about 30 more minutes ago. Uh, whenever you have, especially your proteins, like your cheeses and your meats, you don't wanna go from refrigerator cold to a hot pan. It'll make the protein seize up and then it will be tough to cook or tougher than you would like. So allow it to come to room temperature 30 minutes to an hour before you're cooking. And then especially since I'm dairy free, this is what I'm using today. So this chavre, or whatever it is, but this is goat's milk cheese. Uh, you can see that it's a soft spreadable cream cheese substitute for me because I need to avoid cow dairy, but in the fridge, it's like rock solid. <laughs> so I allow it to come to temperature, room temperature before, um, before we um, use it because we need it to mix well with the other stuff that's in here. So, uh-oh, let's see. We can go to Miss Strong's page and look at her curry. Hopefully it's easy to find. And she also does um, live stream cooking as well. Miss Strong, why don't you inbox me on IG? Cause I know you go, oh, is it in the kitchen with Terry? Just inbox me your um, curry recipe and I'll pull it up here. Cause I don't see it. Oh, there it is, Indian style salmon curry. Let's see if you have your, um... oh, it's on your YouTube channel. Okay, so we'll just share it here so you all can see. If you wanna inbox me the link, I'll see if I can pick it up. But this is a salmon curry that uh, Miss Strong was talking about. It looks delicious. Her presentation is great. Look at that with the rice and the salmon and the parsley and the veggies. <sighs> Looks so good. I'm greedy. All right, so I just Googled a recipe and it sounded very similar to what Miss Aisha told me to do yesterday. So that's what we're going to do. And I did put the link in the description. So in case anybody wants to follow along, you absolutely can. But we're going to make this together. All right, so this recipe is stuffed salmon recipe with from spruce eats the spruce eats so i always like to give credit to the original recipe creator all right 
So for the ingredients, it's pretty straightforward. Let's see if we have everything. So you can see the recipe calls for one pound of salmon. I have three. So that means I'll have to triple everything or maybe I won't use it all. Um, lemon juice, freshly squeezed. We'll see if I have fresh lemons in there. Olive oil. I may use my uh, coconut oil or something else. We'll see. Salt and pepper. So that's pretty easy for the actual salmon filet. So let's see what we have for uh, lemon juice. Hello, Miss G. Turner in the house. She says, good evening, Maggie and everyone. Hello, my dear. Thank you for being here. All right, I have a sad looking lemon. We'll give it a try. Y'all don't talk about me, but in a pinch. Fresh is best if you can get it, but you all know that I always say um, in a pinch, make the substitutes that you need to. So I know we have some truckers. I know we have some travel people, military people. Uh, if you don't have access to fresh produce or in the kitchen, um, this could be an option for you. So you can get this lemon juice from Concentrate. I think you can even get this in the dollar stores. All right. So we have our salmon, lemon juice, olive oil. We'll use the coconut oil, salt and pepper. So we have that. All right, so pretty straightforward. And then for the filling, so it says two ounces of cream cheese. So I'm gonna substitute instead of cream cheese, I am going to use my goat's cheese. So you can see this is a, a soft, sortable cheese made from goat's milk. If you can have cow dairy, please have some for me, but I'm gonna be using goat's cheese as a substitute for cream cheese. So what I eat is sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So these are the substitutes that I'm making, but please do what works for you, absolutely. Now, uh oh, I thought it locked up on me. It says two ounces of frozen spinach thawed and chopped. So I do have frozen spinach. I'll grab it out so you all can see it. But I had some fresh spinach in the fridge. So I'm just gonna chop this because I don't want it to go bad. But again, you can buy frozen. A lot of frozen vegetables are great. They're great in an omelet. They're great probably in a soup or a stew. Uh, so you always have options. Hello, Tracy. Thank you so much for being here. Met Tracy in San Diego. Um, what else? All right. So the spinach and then two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. So if you can use the craft in the shakeable container, go ahead and use that. But I am going to use my Pecorino Romano. That is my uh, salty aged sheep's milk cheese. I know it sounds weird, goat's milk, sheep's milk. Some of it is an acquired taste, but it allows me to have that Parmesan experience without cow dairy, all right? I love, love, love this stuff. This one came from Publix, but I've seen it uh, at Sprouts and other places. So again, Pecorino Romano sheep's milk. So you can see here, this is the dry, like uh, salty cheese sprinkles. I don't know what else to call them. These are the, um, this is my Parmesan substitute. So again, staying dairy free. Oh, Miss Strong says you sent the recipe if I want to try it with the other half. Thank you so much. Let me pull that up. All right, so let's go through these ingredients. Uh, so we have our Parmesan cheese substitute. Then we need garlic powder and then salt and pepper. All right. Okay. So we have garlic powder, pretty, um, pretty straightforward kitchen staples. And then we have our salt and pepper here. And then it says to serve, put uh, lemon wedges on the side. We'll see if we can plate it the way theirs looks with the nice salad. Um, this is what we're kind of going for. Hopefully you all saw the thumbnail, the stuffed salmon. 
Oh, we got Lisa the housewife here. She says she's here for the substitutions, absolutely. And again, with my substitutions, you all, this is what I do, but if you can have dairy, please have dairy. Maybe you need to watch your sugar. If you can have grains, you know, have the gluten. Maybe you just need to avoid milk. I just give you all the substitutes that I use. Feel free to uh, adjust for yourself. Um, Lisa is part of my third YouTube channel. I do have three channels. Maggie the Substitute Teacher. This channel is where we do cooking live streams. Uh, I cook for you all every day or if I'm not cooking, I'm taking you on the road with me when we do dining documentaries. Um, so thank you so much for supporting. Teachable Moments with Maggie is my Etiquette and Elegance channel. I have been on my own Etiquette and Elegance journey because I need them. I take lots of classes and uh, some of you all have expressed an interest. So we had a meeting last night uh, to talk about the secrets to social elegance, three different areas. Uh, so that's on my Teachable Moments with Maggie channel. And then my third channel is the Wives Club. It's a relationship channel where, where us older women are sharing our lessons learned, things we've done right, and things we've done wrong in uh, marriage uh, for anyone who's interested. And we will be streaming tonight at uh, 7.30 p.m. We're calling it the smoke show. We don't have a lot of smoke. We're really, really um, <laughs> anti-smoke. Um, but if you do have questions, tonight is the night. Um, we are usually streaming on Fridays, but we made some changes to accommodate travel. So please check us out, The Wives Club. We have Didi in the house. Hello, Didi. Thank you so much for being here with the smiles and the hand claps. I appreciate you so, so much. All right. Let me see if I can keep real bravado up. I give you your advertisement, sir. All right. So let's see if I can find Terry's recipe. I don't know. Okay. She inboxed me on. Okay, good. Thank you for the link. That makes it really easy. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. She's got a real recipe card. Y'all, I want to be like this. Look at this Indian style curry salmon. So she has a proper recipe. All right. So we can watch the video. Let me just see if the recipe is here. This is why I reached out to her. I know we have a lot of home cookers here. So like I said, I did a consult with her. She actually makes consults available because for my cookbook, I want to have a proper recipe card. And so I'm just shouting this out. You all can see. I love the format. We'll get back to the snacks in a minute. But I love the format. It tells you how long it's going to take to cook. You can adjust how many portions you're making. Um, you can check off your ingredients. You can change if you're doing U.S. or international measurements. Love, love, love it. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This ingredient list. Um, yeah, I may have to uh, come back to this one, but you all can see. I'll just scroll for you slowly. Salmon, red onion, garlic, ginger, tomato, broth, coconut milk, curry powder, garam masala, olive oil. It's not too, too bad. I do have cilantro, but um, definitely we'll keep that in mind. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Terry. All right. We got Linda in the house. Hello, Linda with the love notes. Thank you so much for being here, my dear. All right. So let us make this um, pay. Well, let's just follow the instructions. All right. You all should be able to see everything. I think I'm going to get a beverage. What do we want to drink today? Walmart water. Do we want to make a tea? Do we want to make a coffee? All right. Let me make sure y'all can see. All right, so step number one, gather the ingredients, okay? So I do have the ingredients. Now this recipe shows your salmon cut into fillets, so I probably should go ahead and do that. We have our lemon. Oh, I was gonna show you all the spinach, but who all is here? Jürgen, our midnight snacker. Uh, German Jürgen is here. Thank you so much for being here. He always brings his plate. Almond Eye says the garam masala is awesome. Y'all, when I tell you, I am excited to go to London for ver for various reasons, one of which I have heard they have some of the best Indian food there. And so I asked my uh, eyebrow threading uh, technician where I should go and she gave me some spots to go in London. I love a good curry, goat's curry, like, oh my gosh, paneer, <sighs> just help me. Fresh naan bread. I had some really, really good Indian food when I was in Australia, just because they're close. Um, Asian cuisine is just 
Mm. Let me see if I can find the spinach for you all. All right, some of this stuff might be obvious, but I know we have different people at different levels of cooking, so I always like to give you all options. And we can do whatever you like, but this is the fresh spinach that I had in the fridge. Uh, so for me, spinach is probably the most versatile greens. I can use this in a salad. Um, I can chop them up and put them in an omelet. We could obviously stuff the salmon with them. Um, so many different things you can do. You can just steam it as a side. But again, if you don't have fresh, you can get frozen. So this is the Publix steam bag spinach, just like we did the cauliflower. So you can just put this in the microwave and get it nice and wilted down. That's what they have here. And then there's this one right here. This one actually looks pretty good because it's a, um, a smaller package. So maybe we'll use this, but you can see microwave in the box and then you get your, your spinach. So this might be a good option. Hmm. I think we'll do that. I didn't know I had that one in here. Hello, good evening, sir. Tracy loves Indian food. I know, right? It's so good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. What does Miss Strong say? Asian and Indian cuisine is delicious. Yes, you're making Asian-inspired dish tonight for dinner. Absolutely, let us know what you got cooking up. That sounds incredible. All right. So you've got the fresh option, but I think I'll use this one because it's a small portion and uh, we can go ahead and just put this in the microwave and let it um, steam away. Another thing that I do, I shared with you all the grocery delivery services. Sometimes if I just need spinach, what I'll do is I'll just put like two or three on my grocery list. That way, if they can't find one in particular, I have a couple other options because eventually I will use it. Who do we have here? Kia G is in the house. Hello, my dear. She says, hello, Maggie in class. Hope y'all are well. Doing very well. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go ahead and thaw this and then we will open up our salmon and cut it. And this salmon is fresh, clearly. Um, it's uh, refrigerated. That's why I want to use it. But if you buy the frozen salmon fillets, you know, the ones that... Um, come in the, um, the bag, like shrink wrap or whatever they call them, like vacuum sealed. That's great because then if you're cooking for the family or maybe meal prepping, you can do multiples. Um, a good way to thaw those is just in the shrink wrap in some like, you know, room temperature water and just let them thaw out that way or overnight in the fridge. Hold on. Let's read the instructions. Should I even be opening this? Y'all know. I don't. Okay. Microwave. Recommended method. Remove pouch from carton. Step one. All right. Very nice. We did that. Place pouch printed side up on microwavable plate. And I'm just getting a plate that's a little bit curved just in case we have any leakage. <laughs> Do not cut slit and pouch. So we're not going to cut it. Uh, you know, a lot of your TV dinners and stuff like that, they want you to poke a little steam hole in it, but we're not going to do that. Um, microwave on high according to chart until thoroughly cooked. So I have a pretty big microwave. Thank you, Mr. Option One. So we'll do five minutes, all right? And then I usually just toss this and then I'm like, what happens next? So we'll leave it right here, but five minutes for the frozen um, spinach. Okay, so we'll put this away and we'll put this away. Just wanna give you all some options. All right, just check in dates. 
Ah, Jurgen is giving me the thumbs up. Sam just says you use those a lot. They're really, they're really good. Okay, so you must be talking about the uh, steamed spinach. Let me know what else you all use spinach with. I don't know everything. We can get inspiration from each other. Spinach, I enjoy it. Um, but again, if you don't like spinach, it could probably be any other greens that you like that we can um, cut up easily. But I'm thinking an omelet, a stir fry, um, side dish, um, so many different things. So let me put this away. Okay, um, step one, gather the ingredients, check. Step two, pl place the salmon filet on a cutting board and pat dry with paper towels. All right, so first I need to cut my salmon. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and cut all of it and see what we're working with. I want to get kind of equal portions of sizes. So like certain parts that are like here up and maybe here down. We'll probably cut into cubes and do those crispy uh, Cajun bites. That'll be fun. All right. So let's just put everything up until we're ready for it. I am going to get a beverage, y'all. Let's see. We'll get some Walmart water so I can stay hydrated. to a glass up to a couple weeks ago I was drinking it out of the can like a dude we're not doing that so so many things simple can improve your elegance or at least for me have helped me to be more elegant and they don't even cost money just take the time to pour your beverage into a glass and drink like a lady if that's important to you. If not, it's totally fine. It's an area that I'm interested in. Um, and then also take small sips. You don't want to toss it back and guzzle like a camel. That's what they say. Uh, all right. So let's get this out of the way. Let's get a cutting board. Since I have raw meat, we'll use... I have our beautiful wooden cutting board right there that uh, Victoria got for us, but I don't like to put raw meat on it because, um, I don't know, I just use it for like produce and whatnot. Oh, we got Mona in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Mona. You all, please check out Mona. She has two YouTube channels, one for herself, one for the kiddos. Um, she has parenting and family content on there. And we all know Mona, the moderator. Oh dear, who do we have? You all know him and you love him. None other than our class clown, the one, the only, Wilbert. Wilbert Gross saying Maggie's sub count is getting higher than the ceiling custard. Hello, everyone. Hello to you, Wilbert. Now, um, <laughs> thank you all so much. We just crossed over 2,000. I think now we're at 2,030 subscribers. My uh, YouTube channel is only a year old and um, we are growing. Thank you all for sharing and commenting. I appreciate all of it. Um, but yes, the ceiling custard, I tried to make a creme brulee and I had a little bit of an explosion. I try to forget about it and Wilbert always uh, reminds me about my flaws. <laughs> all right. But it's totally fine. I can take it. That's why I always tell y'all I am not a professional chef. I am a home cook. I have not been to culinary school. Oh, I think I got it. I have not been to culinary school. All right, let me just get this over here in case it's any water. Oh, all right, maybe we keep it on the counter. Beautiful piece of fresh salmon. Okay, more than a piece, more like the whole salmon filet. And then what I do, let's see how big it is, y'all, first of all. And this is skin on. I, why do I feel like I'm wrestling a whole animal? Oh, God. Can you imagine this thing swimming up at you? All right, it's folded up on the back. I'm trying to get the flap out. 
Sorry, vegans, I'm not a vegan. But for our pescatarians, this could be a good option for you. All right, so it's bigger than my cutting board. <laughs> So we're going to really get in here and get this dry. We have a couple reasons, but I want to check and see if it's, um, if it's bigger than my griddle. My stove comes with a, yeah, I couldn't even, I thought I could cook it on the griddle, but in the package I could have, but um, no, we're going to have to cut it. So this is great if you're feeding the family or if you have company, company, unfortunately, it's just me. Uh, what does Mona say? Maggie, you and Aisha's collab was so amazing. Your chemistry is great. Thank you for saying that. She is an absolute gem and a godsend. I have been watching her for years, like a lot of you all, and a lot of you all have come over to me from Miss Aisha. I do not take that lightly. I am so grateful. I am, you know, of course, wanting my channel to grow, but, you know, I appreciate and I accept that we're going to grow low and slow last year because nothing goes viral over here y'all it's just us um last year i really wanted to build a community my goal was to build a community of you know people who love what i'm doing thank you all for the likes and the hearts i can see it on this new software and i'd love to know you all's experience i'm using Streamyard instead of restream because uh, i needed that for miss aisha's collab yesterday um, so i'm giving it a try um, but I can see some more stuff has some extra stuff and has some stuff I can't do But I'm really trying to make sure you all have good audio. Thank you so much. Ty says I'm a star. I'm a shining star No matter who you are, are Shining bright to see What you could truly be what you could truly be Okay, you didn't ask for that. That's the other thing anybody new here. I have outbursts. They're unpredicted They're usually music related. Just know what I uh <laughs> what happens over here. Uh, but yes, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Sandra also says that collab last night with Miss Aisha was super good to me too. You've watched it twice. I need to go back and watch it. That is one area where I'm um, behind, but because I stream every day, it's just like whenever I'm in the kitchen, I bring y'all in here with me. So that is my struggle. Um, if you don't stream every day, then I could like go back and like watch it and clip. But I just... I just keep pushing. So thank you all so much. That's how I started my channel. Um, but I am so, so grateful. Uh, Miss Aisha, she's incredible. Y'all already know that. All right. And she has what? 1.4 million followers? Why she chose to pay attention a little on me, I'll never know. But I'm grateful. And we got a lot of fun stuff planned for you all. Okay. So I am blotting the salmon. It's actually in the recipe, but I'm doing it anyway. You all saw, let me get this big mama jamma up. So you can see how kind of like shiny and wet it is. <clears throat> so when you're cooking fish, really any protein, you want it to be as dry as possible. Notice when I take the paper towel off, you can see the difference. Oh, this thing is heavy. <laughs> oh. So you can see where it's dried off and where it's shiny. So for me, for a couple of reasons, one, it allows the um, whatever seasoning you're going to have on there to really like penetrate and stick in there. And then two, um, when you pan sear it, which Aisha, Ms. Aisha said to do it in the pan, you can do salmon in the air fryer, on a skillet, on the griddle, so many different options. Um, it allows you to get that nice sear, that nice um, crust on there. What are y'all talking about? Uh, Mona says, you like StreamYard? Absolutely. Ah, Miss Strong says, you use StreamYard. You're interested to hear my review of both. Okay. So when I started my channel last year, um, I would go live on Facebook and then stop and then go live on Instagram and then stop and then go live on YouTube and then stop. And so I was wearing myself out until one of our friendly family trolls, Snuggles, came through and was like, you know, there's software that allows you to multi-stream, like you cook one time and it casts out. And I was like, you don't say. So I found out 
uh, the name of the software software was Restream. And I do have a discount code for you all in the class notes or the link tree. It's somewhere in there if you all want to check it out for yourself. So I could do one stream like I'm doing now, cook one time, and then I just pick where I want it to cast to, and it would send it out to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, you know, all at the same time. Mind blowing. At the time last year, StreamYard did not have that feature. And for me, because what I do is pretty labor intensive, you can understand why it was nice to cook one time and have it cast out to multiple. Because you meet people where they are. Um, people don't usually switch platforms. So you all can see we've got Facebook and YouTube here. Um, I think that's it for now. So I was using Restream for the better part of a year. I got used to it. I was fine with it. I know most people use StreamYard, but that's the reason why I was using Restream. The only issue I had with Restream, you all know, it would cut in and out. It was um, choppy at times. I had to refresh the browser. Those of y'all that have been with me have known. And this whole time, I thought it was my like internet connection. So I went and I paid AT&T to have like a, a new line for the house. So I got a separate internet line just for my cooking channel. The kids can't use it because when the boys are home and they're on their video games and it was just, it was bad y'all. And y'all know y'all talk about me if I'm janky. So I went ahead and had a whole nother like 300 terabyte or megabyte or whatever line, you know, drilled into the house. And I'm the only one who uses that. I was so excited and the restream was still choppy and I was like, what in the world? So when I was working yesterday with Miss Aisha, sorry for the story time y'all, but I just do this. When I was working with Miss Aisha yesterday, you know, she's big time, right? We can't have anything janky with her. We spent hours like testing everything and some of y'all saw us go live to test everything out. And she told me, she was like, yeah, restream doesn't work for me. I have this choppiness issue and I was like, just me this whole time I've been trying all this stuff got a new internet line paying for it all that stuff to find out it was restream so I used StreamYard yesterday for the first time with Aisha Miss Aisha because um, y'all know for the cooking class I usually use restream and lo and behold we got it to work we got the overhead view we got everything that she wanted and I was like huh okay well it worked for the collab Maybe I'll try it myself. So I had to just get all the settings and everything right. So that is the long-winded version of why we are using StreamYard. So I hear a little bit of an echo with the two devices, but I don't think you all hear it. So let me know what your audience experience is because y'all know I'm a proud student of lead, lead attorney and we got to make sure the audience has a good experience. I'm just scrolling back. Ah, we're asking Wilbert. We are on baby watch. Yes, Wilbert's expecting. Okay, not Wilbert. His beautiful bride is expecting and big sister is uh, uh, excited. I already sent a little package to Wilbert, something for big sister and something for baby on the way. So please keep us posted. Ah, thank you. Lisa, the housewife, is giving me the thumbs up. I know Lisa likes the stream yard. And Nicole says, I'm very clear. Okay, fantastic. Ah, and you don't hear an echo. Okay, wonderful. Lisa loves stream yard. Yes, I'm using an iPad for this. And then this camera up here is my iPhone. So it's just me, y'all. I am no professional. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. This is just <laughs> what I do. Um, so you all seem to be liking it so far. Okay, thank you for the feedback. I really want to get better for you all. Oh, uh, who do we have here? I just poured your Walmart water, sir. None other than Brandon L. Jet. Ah, cheers to you. Brandon says, OBS is the best software. We tried it yesterday. Even Miss Aisha uses OBS, but we couldn't get it figured out in time for our collab. But he says OBS is the best software, but I wouldn't recommend people use it unless they are experienced in technology. Exactly. So for us, the home cooker uh, express, uh, we're using StreamYard, but everybody knows Brandon Eljet. So yes, uh, one of these days I'll get good enough to use OBS, but my requirements, if y'all ever need to know my requirements, I need it to be simple enough and I need to be able to have like this two camera view because you all have all told me you like being able to see what I'm doing over here. So thank you so much. 
Captain is always listening from the clouds, y'all. Okay, where were we? We're drying the fish. I know, right? Woo! <laughs> All right, it's okay. So again, you wanna make sure that your protein, and because this was fresh salmon, it is um, very little water that's coming up. If you had frozen salmon, you probably need to go to through like two or three different paper towels to blot it up. And I just kind of keep going until it's dry, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And I'll turn it over and do the other side. Yes, Brandon L. Jet is in the house. Ah, Miss Strong says she's gonna check it out. Yeah. Check it out and let me know. And I believe Miss Aisha said OBS is free. I don't know. I'm paying for StreamYard and I'm paying for Restream. And I just went ahead and paid for the year. But they do have monthly plans. Oh, wow. We even have more. They do have monthly plans. So if you want to pay month to month, you can. But they always get me with the annual plan because it's like set it and forget it. So if y'all like Restream, that's what we will do especially when I have to you know, share the screen with others. If it's just me, like last night for our etiquette class, we did restream, but then I got kicked out now that I remember. All right, I'm just gonna blot the back and this is skin on salmon. I'm just imagining this big old fish swimming through. Y'all, it's huge, like bigger than my arm. What was I thinking? Oh gosh, all right. So, but I have heard that, and lead attorney will tell you OBS is great as far as the features and what you can do, but you do have to configure it. And um, I'm not, this is gonna sound so lazy. I'm not trying to do all that. Where is Wilbert? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, y'all. <laughs> we got All About the Max in the house. Says hello, Maggie and everyone. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Just rubbing this salmon. Good little salmon. <laughs> yes, thank you all for liking. Thank you all for sharing. It helps the channel to grow and I appreciate it. Ah, Lisa says you're officially dairy-free and gluten-free. Um, so yes, and I'll drop the link in case anybody wants to chat. Y'all don't ever come up, which is fine. It's just me, but I'm just testing out everything. Y'all don't have to cam up if you don't want to, but Okay, yeah, Lisa uh, met with my metabolic specialist or had a consult and she has her own health goals and um, she needs to avoid dairy and gluten as well. Ooh, Brandon is still chiming in, I love it. Restream is the easiest to use, but very glitchy. That's exactly what was happening. StreamYard is the most user-friendly, but not customizable. OBS is the most reliable, but not easy to figure out at first. Y'all, look what we got in the community. I'm telling you, we got it all here. This is exactly what I... So I've paid for Restream for the year. I have paid for StreamYard for the year. Um, I'll continue to play around with both. If Restream could get the glitchiness down, that would have been the best for me. But um, now, clearly, the fact that y'all are watching me on YouTube and Facebook, you know, they're competitors. Restream was the only one that cast out to multiple platforms when I started. Now, uh, StreamYard will let you add multiple destinations. So I do one cooking show and StreamYard lets me send to my personal Facebook, my Facebook page, my YouTube. Um, the plan that I'm on lets you do three at a time, but you can upgrade if you want more. I just started with the basic to test it out, but you could do Twitch, you can do Twitter. Um, you just basically set it up one time and then just check the box. All right, uh, who do we have here? Miss Lou Kaisley says, greetings, maestra and scholars. Hello, madame. Um, yes, Brandon is giving us the tips. We got a lot of content creators in here. Miss Lucy is also part of the uh, lead attorney um, community. She's part of the mastermind. She has a YouTube channel and she talks about all things femininity as well as teaches um, basic Spanish and she's great. We, um, we had her on the Wise Club as a special guest last time and she's very active in my etiquette community as well. So thank you, Brandon. Yes, thank you. Everybody is appreciating that. Miss Strong says, you just went to the OBS website. You're gonna have to look when you have downtime. Absolutely. And let me know. Right now, I just moved over to um, StreamYard, because that's what Miss Aisha wanted, and what she wants, she gets. All right? So, all right, y'all. Just, I don't know. Sometimes, like, 
meat and produce and everything. It's just, I just see the beauty in everything. Like just a beautiful filet. Now we've talked about this as well. So fish should smell like the ocean. Oh, wow. You know what it smells like? It smells like smoked salmon. And y'all, it's huge. It's like a boa snake. Creepy. Sorry, vegans. I'm not a vegan. Um, so this one is not for you. But uh, fish should smell like the ocean. Um, this smells like smoked salmon, but a fresh version of smoked salmon. So less salty, less smoky. I'm not a sushi person, but I'm sure you could cut whatever. I don't know. I'm not even going to act. Um, but it smells very fresh. If your fish smells fishy, it's bad. So fresh fish should smell like the ocean. Okay. So smells incredible. And now I've dried it off. And so we're going to cut this up. So it's hanging off the cut more. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at Brandon helping us out. We don't know everything. That's the power of community, y'all. Brandon says, you're welcome, ladies. Thank you kindly, sir. Test OBS first on your own offline. There are a ton of YouTube videos that help walk you through it. El Guapo finally has it figured out. So pick his brain in the mastermind. The power of community. I appreciate that. But yeah, so that's why we're here on StreamYard because now they will let you multi-stream. All right, so let's go ahead and get this cut up. Sorry, I got too much in there. My knife is um, tucked up underneath there, so I don't want to waste too much time. All right, so I'm going to try and get even fillets. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of cut, and it cuts just like um, creamy smoked salmon. Let's make sure I get through. Oh, I've got that groove right here. Remember, I should be using the other side of the cutting board. I am going to do that so I can get a good cut. Remember, this is the side that is for the liquid because it's got those grooves and we'll clean our counters really well. But I want to try and get a nice clean cut. Got some scales. I remember going to the fish market with my mom, you know, when they're cutting everything right there fresh. <sighs> Traumatized as a kid, but it's one of the things that you, uh, you got to do. All right. So I'm just going to try and get even pieces beautiful and I'll keep the skin on so I see y'all in the comments I don't really weigh and measure I just kind of eyeball but you know if you're meal prepping got a little bone if you're meal prepping let me get a cutting board to put this on to You can measure out equal pieces, but uh, Brandon will give you the big piece. <laughs> Brandon, Wilbert, what other gents do we have watching in? We'll make sure you get the big piece. Uh, oh, y'all are talking about who else uses OBS. Absolutely. What does Miss Lucy say? If you go to a sushi restaurant and it smells fishy, it's not a promising sign. Excuse me, absolutely, yes. I'm not a big sushi person, but great tip. And I also heard there are certain days of the week to go have sushi, like not on Monday because the fish has been there over the weekend or something about deliveries. Y'all know, I don't know. All right. So let's get this cut up. So the pieces that are a little bit irregular, I'm going to probably cut that up and make salmon bites. The pieces that are more like uniform, we will stuff those. <laughs> Trying to get this big old mama on the cutting board. I should take some to mom and dad. 
this is all they do. So if you can afford it, um, this big fillet was $30. So it is an investment, but you know, if you can afford it, buy the whole fillet and then just cut your own portions and you can cook it all or you can, um, save some. So the recipe calls for these four fillets. So maybe we'll do that. And while I'm here, I might as well just cut the whole thing because if I'm going to cook the whole filet, it probably looks better intact as opposed to like, I shouldn't present just this, right? All right. So let's get this cut all the way through to the skin. Um, Jazz Leaf, we did, uh, she's a professional chef that we did a collab with. She has an air fryer salmon recipe book. I think I have it back there. She has so many different recipes for salmon all in the air fryer. So easy, easy peasy. Ooh, we got some scales on there. All right, almost done. Beautiful piece of salmon. All right, there's probably no reason to, I'll just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cube this while I'm down here um, and we will, yeah, we'll do the salmon bites. I like those, those seem to be a favorite around here. So I'm just gonna dice this cause it's too small to be like a, a proper filet. So we're just gonna put this in cubes and I don't have perfect cutting skills. So I just say cut in half and then just keep cutting in half. So we're gonna do the little salmon bites, the crispy salmon bites. And I like the skin on, having the skin on gives you that like nice fish oil. But if you don't like that, you can remove it. Have it your way, Burger King. So we're just getting little pieces and we'll cook those up separate. You do your, I don't know, ramen or poke bowls or whatever that stuff is. Uh oh. So we will stuff everything and munch on these. Ah, ah y'all are talking about OBS. Tracy says $30 is a good price. Yeah. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fillets, almost like eight fillets. So y'all know I'm in Atlanta, so we are not a big, I mean, we do have seafood here, but you know, we're not on the water. So some of y'all that live close to the ocean can get really, really good um, seafood. My ex-husband's family's in Pensacola. They have that Gulf shrimp down, down there. Good stuff. You can buy it here, you know, frozen. You can buy anything, but it is nice when you can get fresh. All right. So what I'm going to do, oof, this is a little... Got some bones in the back down where the tail was. I'm just feeling to see, yeah, we are get rid of this part. Try to use every little bit up unless it's too tough. All right, let me just Put that there, put that there. I'm just gonna cut this so we're done with the cutting. <laughs> Brandon says, Maggie, reach out to Money Bass. Money Bass is also uh, a YouTuber. He is a professional fisherman, meaning a competitive fisherman, bass fisherman. Don't gesture with the knife, Maggie. Um, bass fisherman hence the name money bass and at first when i first connected with money bass he's also part of the lead attorney community i feel a little bit of a bone so we'll cut around that i was like "Ooh, we should do a collab um a cook and catch or a catch and cook or something like that and he was like ah oh, maggie he's he's a country boy love money bass he's like maggie we don't keep the fish we toss it back i was like toss it back why are you putting it back but apparently for the rules of these fishing competitions, like 
they like catch the fish and then they weigh it and then they got to put it back in the lake so that there's more fish for the other people to catch because if they take it home they'll drain out the lake i didn't know that and he was like yeah they're not cooking the fish i was like oh sorry ah ufo kamikaze in the house says you grew up near the beach and you still live eight minutes away yeah there's nothing like it if you're close to the water that's what i do i'll be going to boston uh soon and um of course i'll always take you all with me when i travel um you all know av to the seventh power and um she's been down here to collab with me a couple times and i said i gotta come up to boston and have some of that um New England food, you know, chowder and all that good stuff, crab, lobster. I don't know what they have up there. We'll figure it out. Um, and they have something that they call restaurant week. Most major cities have some type of, you know, cooking competition. Doesn't that look delicious? Ah, cooking competition. And um, I said I would go up there so she can take me around to some of her favorite spots. So stay tuned. Uh, Maggie's going to be doing quite the traveling this year. Catch and release. Exactly. That's what he said. They catch and, and weigh it and then put it back. I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. Ooh, Brandon says the clam chowder in Boston and Seattle. I know someone who works for Starbucks. So let me see if I can weasel my way into going to Seattle. But noted, I will definitely have some clam chowder when I'm... Uh, in uh, Boston with AB. UFO Kamikaze says the she crab soup. I've never even heard of that. She crab soup is awesome. I'll have to ask. All right, so let's clean this up. just washing really well a, a few scales on there so we want to make sure that we get that um, off of the hands all right and off of the counter all right so now we've got this cut up I forgot about the spinach in there but let's see what's next I think we're ready for the next step all right So we have our ingredients. Place the salmon fillets on a large cutting board and pat dry with paper towels. So we've done that. Drizzle both sides of the salmon with the lemon juice and one tablespoon of olive oil. Season with kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. All right, so. Um, this recipe calls for four fillets. So what I'll do is I will stuff these four big ones per the recipe. We'll do a little crispy Cajun with the bites and I will just wrap these up and I guess I can refrigerate or freeze or maybe if I get around to uh, Miss Strong's recipe, uh, I can do those. What does Brandon say? There's a huge fish market in Seattle called Pike's Place. You can get big salmon like that for great prices. They pack it up for you to ship or fly back, fly back with the salmon. The original Starbucks there is too. Yep, absolutely. I know someone connected to that. Absolutely. Okay, good to know. So Boston first. Boston is coming up. And then um, we'll see if we can make our way to the west side. Okay, that was lame. I know. All right, what are we doing? Um, let me just go ahead and pack these. Get that out of the way. Let me see if I can get y'all. I found it. First one that I grabbed, crispy Cajun salmon bites. So we're gonna make that with the little chunks. So exciting. Ah. Oh yeah, thanks you all. If you all are on TikTok, you can follow me on TikTok. I'm unable to go live on TikTok until I have 1,000 um, followers. I think I have like 100. 
it is really okay. I'm on these other platforms, which is fine. So what I'm doing, y'all, I'm just squeezing out the air. Um, I could vacuum seal it or something like that. But whenever you're putting meat away in the bag, try and get the uh, air uh, away from it so that you don't have freezer burn. These won't last long. And I'm just kind of individually sealing them up. That way, if you meal prep or I could put these in like with a marinade, maybe I should do that. I put like some, I don't know, I don't know if y'all do soy sauce or coconut aminos. I'm just getting them out of the way for now. What is that? Condemnia says, we cooking salmon. I'm going to start following along for a few of these lessons. Absolutely. This one is beautiful. Gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I am no professional, but you all are always welcome here. We learn together and we try. <laughs> Who do we have here? Rodney, thank you for giving me points yesterday in the cooking collab. I was struggling so bad. He says, West Side Story starring Maggie. That's right. I'm not West Side, but I'm West Side Story. Dun, 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 dun. I love the 50s. Oh, at least the fashion. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's put this out of the way. So we're gonna do the crispy Cajun bites with the tail pieces. And then we're going to do the um, stuffed salmon with uh, these pieces, all right? So let me put this in the fridge. <laughs> I will not, I will not, I will not. Miss Aisha did warn me, but for anyone who doesn't know, yesterday I had a cooking collab with Miss Aisha and she said, send me the ingredients and we'll cook along. You will make it and I will follow along. So I got the ingredients and I followed along the recipe. She had a few tricks up her cooking sleeve. We're putting these away. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to leave these out. I'm going to marinate these with something. Maybe lemon pepper, maybe like a something and something. Oh, Rodney, you met a girl named Maggie. I love that. Y'all know my name is Margaret. Maggie is my uh, childhood nickname. And I used to hate my name because it's so, I used to think it was like old lady, old fashioned, but I'm growing to love it. And I think y'all like it too. Okay. Where are we? Focus, Maggie. All right, so we need to drizzle with lemon juice and olive oil. So let's see if we can get into this janky lemon. <laughs> Aisha wasn't cooking me. Oh, she, look, Miss Aisha can do whatever she wants, whenever she wants to do it. She saw fit to bring my little uh, amateur behind up on her screen uh, so she could change the rules and... Uh, Oh, it was so much fun, you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so let's see if we can cut into this. But I should have known I was in trouble when she said, I don't follow recipes. I make recipes, honey. And I was like, oh, no. Here comes the bacon. Y'all saw me. I was like, what is that? Like, she had cooked bacon already, had it cut up. Um, had the bacon grease. I mean, she was drizzling some of this and that. And I was just like, my stuff looks so bad. But I did post it. I thought my finished product was pretty good. I posted it on all social. But just in case anybody missed it, we made a, lo a loaded broccoli um, bowl yesterday. So this was mine. So we've got broccoli on the bottom. We've got some uh, avocado. I used uh, almond um, yogurt for cream, drizzled with some hot sauce, shredded goat's cheese, some tomato, and that salsa around the side. So <laughs> Aisha had special sauce. She had special sauce and hidden ingredients. Y'all feel me. Ooh, what does Brandon say? You want a lemon pepper, you want a teriyaki, and you want a butter garlic. Yes, sir. You got it. All right. So the three bag salmons per Brandon's request. Absolutely. Uh, UFO Kamikaze says Margaret is a classy and refined name. Thank you kindly. I appreciate you so much. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, 
Miss Aisha is uh, starting a new series with little old me and she's calling it Wednesdays with Maggie. She already started a hashtag, hashtag Wednesdays with Maggie. Um, so cooking with Aisha, she's on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, I don't know about Twitter, TikTok and Instagram. She cooks all the time. She has incredible family, like whole, wholesome, um, not wholesome, like, um, not soul food, what comfort food, like real, like good food recipes. And she has started cooking classes Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And they are paid cooking classes because she's excellent. But she doesn't do cooking classes on Wednesday. So she's asked me to join her on Wednesdays. We will have free cooking classes. And that's what the Wednesdays with Maggie is going to be. Um, and I will always give you all like a low carb option. I am sugar free, dairy free and gluten free. But you all saw yesterday, she's going to make it how she wants it. So we're kicking off a new series, Wednesdays with Maggie. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Tracy says your name fit my name fits me. I've grown to love it. I have. I mean, it's it's I guess unique. Not everybody is a Margaret, but thank you. Marie Marie says hello everyone. I need a happy place. Yeah, Marie Marie. Oh, she's going through a lot right now, so you all keep her lifted up. I appreciate you being here. What does Mr. BX say? Hello, Maggie, moderator, scholars and chat. Sorry for being late. You all are never late. I cook every day. You come when you can. You can watch without listening. You can listen without watching. You can come late. You can leave early. I'm just happy that you're here. I appreciate it. Rodney says, y'all don't want to miss the next stream with Aisha. Oh, yeah. So yesterday, and it's still up. It's always going to be up. Um, we made the low carb broccoli bowl yesterday. So you all please check it out. It was a lot of fun. I still haven't rewatched it. So I'm glad you all enjoyed it. All right, so let's see what our janky lemon looks like on the inside. If the juice is still good, is the juice worth the squeeze? I just hate to waste. So not bad. It could be a little juicier. I hope it's a lemon. It is a lemon. Is it a lemon or a lime? All right, so we got lemon juice. Lemon juice. So let's squeeze our lemon. I'm just using this little lemon juicer, got it from Walmart. You just open it up like this. You put the lemon half side down with the um, open side at the bottom. And then when you squeeze it, it catches the seeds. I hope it's a lemon. I don't know. I think it's a lemon. Yeah, it's a lemon. It's yellow, not green, right? Look, we got what we got, right? <laughs> You're gonna squeeze. Oh, is it a dry, ashy lemon? Oh boy. Not the juiciest lemon we ever got. <laughs> My lemon is on its last. All right, we got some. I don't have hand strength. So I get, you get what you get. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> we've got our lemon and I don't toss this, you all. All right, so what I do, I probably should have more juice than that, but what I do is I put it in a glass and I sip on it. All right. So once I've juiced it, I put this in a shout out to the Walmart water. Mm. So whether it's hot tea or iced tea, I'll just continue to drink on it. All right. So I'll just put this here, find a good use for it. So we don't waste. We want to use everything. So it says, um, one tablespoon of olive oil. Let's go ahead and use the olive oil. Might as well at this point. No, I just, I think it was just an old lemon. I know what green is, but it just looked a little suspect. It was just old. All right, so to be honest, my lemon was probably a little bit past its prime. It was a little ashy, but we got what we got, okay? So we're going to squeeze some olive oil in here. It says one tablespoon of the olive oil. So we're on step number two. Uh, drizzle both sides with the lemon juice and one tablespoon of olive oil. All right, so let's get that. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so we have one, oh, is it gonna focus one tablespoon? <laughs> it's okay, you all. I never said I was a professional. I just keep coming back and trying, okay? So one tablespoon. So we've got lemony olive oil. All right, so we'll give that a little stir and we're gonna drizzle. It says drizzle, I'm gonna brush. All right, so we'll just keep, let me put our Cajun salmon in a bowl. One second, I think I'm gonna season this so this can go ahead. Oh, look at the ingredients for the crispy Cajun salmon bites. This is a separate recipe, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the way. These are bagged for, uh, for Brandon. I will marinate those and then put them in the fridge so we can cook them when you would like. All right, um, or freezer, you just tell me what you'd like. Uh, so all we need is Cajun seasoning and then another lemon. We might be fresh out of lemons, but that's for the garnish. Literally, all it says is pat the salmon dry, remove the skin, and cut into cubes. I'm not removing the skin. Shout out to Wilbert. I'm not doing that. Um, so I should have removed the skin from the whole thing. Oh, well. Um, two, add the Cajun seasoning, mix to coat, and then you're going to air fry it. All right. So I'm just going to put these in a bowl with the Cajun seasoning so they're out of the way so we have more working space. Um, I like these two ingredient recipes. So let's just put this in here and we will give these a little air fry towards the end because we're going to pan fry these. That way we don't waste. And these are just the little tips of the salmon, the ones that I couldn't cut into equal parts. All right. So we've got this in here. So just our fresh salmon cut up and wash again. And then Cajun, sam uh, Cajun seasoning, this is a good all purpose seasoning. It's got a lot of stuff in it, but this is what we're gonna put all over here. And if y'all were with me when we did that collab with Jazz, she's like, season it, season it well. Get in there. We're gonna make sure everything's coated. I'm still going. And then I'm just gonna mix it up and I'll set this behind me so it can just kind of sit. If you have time to season your food well before you're gonna cook it, it just gives you more time to get that flavor in there. So let me just toss that around. Just with a little chopstick. And then what I do is I just look to make sure that every little piece of surface area has some more seasoning. If I see any dry spots, any ashy spots, we're going in for more. So this still looks a little light to me. So, and all it is is Cajun seasoning. And I made this when we had the cooking collab with Jazz Leaf, that is the professional chef, but this is her recipe, crispy Cajun salmon bites. I make a salad. Oh, I still have the spinach salad. Y'all, we're gonna put this salmon on. I'm stomping already. So greedy. Okay, sorry. Let's get in there. There we go. There we go. I would even do a little bit more. But looks like we've got pretty good coverage. Just for extra and we'll just let it sit. All right, so we'll air fry those at the end. They literally take like five minutes and we'll make put them on a salad. All right, so that's the salad right there. What does Condemia say? The last salmon bites lesson was great. You can't wait for the next one going in the salad for sure. Yes, absolutely y'all. Just make a bed of greens of your choice. Uh, just move in the, ca uh, the Cajun seasoning and then good to go. All right, so I'm going to get a little pastry brush. This is our olive oil. It really should be my coconut oil, but I'm just using this for the recipe. Whenever I make a recipe for the first time, I always try to um, make it their way. And then after that, I'll do it my way. Hey, Miss Strong. <laughs> Manny says stomping already. Y'all ever anticipate something's gonna be good? 
And then it's so good. Did y'all see Miss Aisha? She ran yesterday and closed the door. She actually ran and shut the door. <laughs> shut the front door. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So just getting a little pastry brush here. And we're going to mix up our uh -oh, lemon juice. All right, lemon juice and olive oil. And we're just going to, it says drizzle. I'm brushing. I'm brushing. <laughs> yes, indeed. And I'm brushing for you and me. And I'm brushing. So the salmon will get greased up. Sorry. So lame. All right. So we're giving it the lotion that Brandon said that my lemon needed. All right. And we're going to turn it over and get it greased up on the back. Uh, all right. So this is what we have. So far, y'all can see, ah, look at that shine. <laughs> Aisha said she wanted to dance yesterday. She only had socks on. Oh my God, that is so funny, y'all. We had such a good time yesterday. <laughs> All right, so let's get up underneath here and turn these over. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a little splatter. Keep that out of the way. Sorry, y'all. Mm. Okay. Let's grease up the back. <laughs> all right, running a little low, but oh yeah. And I'm going on the sides too. I want it all over. Get up in there. All right, then let me just get the rest on the sides, go in between. So everything has, all right, <laughs> get all that coverage. <laughs> all right, so we got all that done. All right, where are the gong gongs? <laughs> They're with their dad. Well, one is in boarding school. We have one in um, boarding school. He comes home on the weekends. He's in military school. Brandon knows all about that. Um, and then the other one is with his dad. So believe me, when the gong gongs are here, you will know. <laughs> so all you got is me. All you got is me. Dun, 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 dun. All you need is love. Dun, da, 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 da. Hello, Genesis. Thank you for coming through. All right, so we did step number two. Excuse me, drizzle both sides of the salmon with the lemon juice and the olive oil seasoned with kosher salt and freshly ground pepper to taste. All right, so let's salt and pepper them up and then flip them back over. So it's just, I'm just using regular table salt. Use whatever salt works for you. So, sorry, it's loud. And I'm seasoning both sides. Oh, sorry, all my hands aren't strong. All right. Whew. We have some good coverage. We're going to turn these over. Some big old hefty pieces of salmon. All right. Get those. And then salt. You can really season however you want, but that's what the recipe calls for. So I'm salting it well. It's me or if it's this grinder. I struggle with it. Maybe bigger is better. Yeah, this one's easier. Maybe more of a grinding mechanism. This stuff is cute, but it gets in the way of. Oh, you like the, <laughs> the musical montage? Yeah, I don't even realize I'm doing it, y'all. I have outbursts. 
I have found my spirit animal. Do y'all want to see? And I don't even really believe in spirit animals. Actually, I don't. But I found this lady online. Maybe y'all already know about her. But she is unashamed of her musical outbursts. Whew. Hello, Diary of Bell Rose. Thank you for being here. All right, so we got our lemon juice. We got our olive oil. You can see the lemon juice has already gotten the skin to start to, uh, the fish to start to um, get a little pasty, but we're good to go. <laughs> Brandon says, new channel alert, musical moments with Maggie. I'm telling y'all, this lady that I found is who I want to be on the inside. Hello, my pasta evolution. Thank you so much for being here. You're here for the salmon. So yes, let me know if y'all want to see my spirit animal. Okay, so we did step number two, season with kosher salt. I just use regular salt, okay? And freshly ground pepper. You could probably cook it like this. Did I make the paste? Okay, not yet. Whew, step number three, cut a pocket into the thick part of each of the fillets only going about three quarters of the way through. Be careful not to cut all the way through the filet. All right, so we need to make a pocket. So we're gonna turn it on the side and make a pocket through the thick part, but I'm not going all the way down. All right, Whew, don't tear. So it's still intact on this side, but it's heavy. So I've got a little pocket I need to do better so I don't tear the skin. I'm just using a knife and just kind of, it's harder than it looks, make a little pocket. Oh, this one's already kind of open. Hmm. Let's see. I'll just find the groove and just kind of go down a little bit on this side. So we have, it's gonna come out the sides, but it's okay. Owl is your spirit animal. I think if I had a spirit animal, it would be a Care Bear or a bunny. I'm a softy, y'all. I am, I just am. I'm a softy. All right, so we have our little pocket for all four, all right? All right, so we got our pockets down here, cut through, and then in a small bowl, combine the cream cheese, spinach, Parmesan cheese, and garlic. Whew. All right, so let's get a bowl here and let's get that together. We're gonna make our little paste. Let's get the other bowl. All right, so let's look at ingredients. The cream cheese, now it says two ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. So this right here, oh, Sandra says you love the detailed cooking instructions, cooking 101. I'm glad you all like it because this is really just me in the kitchen. I'm trying to figure it out as I go. I've been cooking it since 1842, but clearly Miss Aisha can do this stuff like the back of her hands. And I want to get it right because if I burn it or mess it up, y'all don't talk about me. All right. So what do we have here? So this is the goat's cheese and I've left this out. You can see this is four ounces and we've got it nice and soft. I almost want to do the whole thing greedy but let's see how much of a paste we can make with half of this, okay? Um, you could do the other half. Ooh, maybe I'll do that. I'll smear it on an apple. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's see if we can open this up and put it in the bowl. We're gonna make our little paste. Let me just cut. And again, I took this out before we started cooking so that it could... Um, soften up and I'm just going to squeeze half of it out. All right. So we'll keep the rest here to put on something fun. 
This is a good cream cheese substitute for me. Um, so we've got the cream cheese. What else is supposed to go on here? Um, two ounces of frozen spinach. How much was in here? Yo, I think I want more stuffing than this. I want to do, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, this is nine ounces. Mm. So we forgot that we thawed this out. So we have our spinach here. So I'm going to just pull open here. Oh, you pull open like in the middle. I don't know what's going on. I'm nervous. All right, so we have our spinach. I'm just gonna get a spoonful of this. Oh, Rodney says it's amazing how you visualize the cooking process. Help me understand, what do you mean? Like how I think about it in my head or how I show you all the process. We have Kayla in the house. Hello, Kayla, thank you so much for being here. My first time seeing you here. I'm just slow, y'all. All right, so this was a frozen spinach and you can see it's got some water in there. So I'm going to get like a, a little slotted spoon. But either way, thank you for the compliment. So I don't know if this is two ounces. It might be more than two ounces, but I'm just, oh, it's nice and steamy. We're going to put that in there. We're just making the paste that goes on the inside. So we'll move that. Toss that extra spinach in with some eggs or something. <sighs> hey, veggie, veggie. <laughs> Thank you. You said how I think about the process in my head. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah, I just, um, I don't know. I'm just very kind of analytical that way. Just kind of like some things I'm impulsive about, but I really do try to, because I want to get it right. I want to make sure it's right. But Thank you. All right, so we have our goat's cheese for me to be dairy-free, but if you can have Philadelphia cream cheese, use that. Thank you for being here, uh, Veggie Veggie, one of my day one scholars. Two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. So I'm doing the dairy-free Pecorino Romano sheep's milk. All right, so two tablespoons of that. We all start somewhere. So we have our two tablespoon measure. So I'm just gonna go in. This is my substitute for Parmesan. This is that dry, salty, sprinkle cheese. <laughs> ah, wear blue, love red. Thank you for being here. Welcome, says here to support. Thank you for the support. How are we doing this air fryer? We'll see what the recipe says. I think it's a pan fry, but if you want me to take one and put it in the air fryer or do half on the pan and half in the air fryer to compare, I'm happy to. Thank you all so much for being here. All right. I don't think I chopped the spinach. Was it already chopped? Oh God, it says spinach thawed and chopped because I mess up stuff, but we already bought chopped spinach. All right, so we need for the filling, Cream cheese, I have my goat's cheese. We got the spinach, Parmesan, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, so we have our half teaspoon. And so this size of the um, measuring, of course, this size is side is to sprinkle. This side, you wanna get in there with your spoon and then you use the straight edge to scrape along the top as you pull it out. So you have kind of an even. All right, so we have our garlic powder and then salt and pepper, all right? So again, just regular salt for me. I don't have to worry about salt, but I do have to worry about sugar. So what I eat is sugar-free, dairy-free and gluten-free. So I'm going in with the salt and pepper. Genesis, you want half and half, half in the pan and half in the air fryer. You got it. Absolutely. So you all can see. Of course. Ah, Y'all want to compare? Happy to do that. All right. So now where were we? And I think I just need to. So this is what we have. 
We're on step four. In a small bowl, combine the cream cheese, goat's cheese for me, Parmesan, sheep's cheese for me, and garlic. Oh, I missed the garlic. See? Oh, it was the garlic powder. We do have garlic powder. This is a lot, y'all. Oh. All right. Sorry. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so I need to make this spinach cream sauce or cream mix. All right. So they got a little spatula, so I got a little spatula. Y'all know what I mean. Oh, hi, my pasta evolution says, sorry, but isn't goat's cheese and sheep's cheese dairy? Not a problem at all. So really quick, I've been working with a metabolic specialist. I was tested for food sensitivity. So I have a long list of foods that I can have and foods that I can't have. I am sensitive to cow dairy. It's something about the proteins in cow milk that my body doesn't tolerate well. If you can have it, please enjoy it for me. But for me, it gives me like a lot of mucus. It makes me like stiff and achy and you know plus the bloat the bloat and the weight so i can have goat's cheese i can have sheep's cheese so when i say dairy free it's cow dairy a lot of people are sensitive to cow dairy um but yes these have been approved for me so great question and never never a bother all right y'all so let's mix this up and again you see why getting your goat's cheese or cream cheese to room temperature is um really good. And I'm going to taste this. I always think, is any of this stuff raw? No. So we're going to make our little paste. Looks so fancy. Ebony says it looks delicious. Is that wild or farm salmon? I will look for you, sweetheart. I don't know. I'm getting this out of trash for you. And then I'll have to wash my hands again. It says Atlantic salmon. Gold standard sustainable. It's Sam's Club, so I don't think it's anything. It's just this highest standards of sustainable seafood. It's farm. Sorry. It's farm. And I know, I know, I know. Of course, the best, if you can get it, is wild salmon. But this is what I have. But yes, you all, I always say, get the best that you can get. I did a grocery order at Sam's Club and why I put salmon on the list. And now I have this huge, humongous, and this isn't even all of it, plus this, plus some more in the back. All right, y'all. So yeah. Genesis says, our Miss Maggie got skills and all the cooking essentials. I'm kind of a kitchen gadget girl. If y'all ever want to get anything for the class, I do have a teacher's wish list in the description. Brandon has got stuff for us. So many of y'all have been a blessing. Um, so thank you for that. Oh, it's still warm on my hands from the spinach. So we have our spinach paste. I'll get one of Genesis spoons and taste it. Mom said, taste as you go. You never serve anybody anything that you haven't tasted. As long as it's not raw, I'm not going to taste that. But taste the filling so you know what's going to be inside your uh, spinach. I mean, inside your salmon, because we did put salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Mm. I want to put this on a cracker. I want to smear it on something. I want to dip it. Mm. Sorry about that. Forgive me. Hi, Kayla says, I found you on Cooking with Aisha, so you decided to follow. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. Honestly, you all, it means so much to me that you all are here because clearly I am no professional. Yes, Genesis, I got your spoons. You all are giving 10 plus sounds ideas. You all know him as our team graphic designer. He makes all of my artwork because I am no artist. Y'all have told me multiple times. Y'all have already asked him for an OnlyFans Maggie artwork. You know I'm not on OnlyFans. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly channel, but you may find me on OnlyPans. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hilarious. Y'all are laughing. Uh, Ebony says, do you, Mags? I just love wild salmon. I am, and I love you for loving it. Hey, get what you can get. All right, so we are good to go. Got the tasting spoons done. All right, so step five, spoon one to two tablespoons of the spinach cream cheese filling into each pocket. Don't mind if I do. All right, so let's clean this up. All right, let's get ready to assemble. <laughs> Only pants. Y'all know where to find me? Right here or on OnlyPans. <laughs> 
All right. Okay. And that is one of the things that, you know, Miss Aisha said, and she said it publicly that you know what you're going to get when you come to my channel. And I appreciate, let me get a clean spoon. I am well aware that there is so much else out there in the world. And the fact that you all choose to come watch me, I don't take it for granted. All right, so we've got our cream cheese mixture going in the pocket, making our little salmon pocket. Miss Aisha recommended this yesterday, so I said, yes, ma'am, I will try it. All right, so let's put that in there. I really want more, I'm like greedy. Get in there, get in that belly. All right, I'm just gonna put it down to the side. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, y'all, there's a lot going on and there's so much other stuff that you could be watching. And I just appreciate you all coming here, especially when you come back, you know, whether you come for the fun or you come for the food, I appreciate it. Um, but it is a happy place for me. And um, you all can see what we have here. Just getting those stuff. They're kind of like, but I didn't do perfect slits. It's what I got. Um, so thank you in all seriousness. Thank you all for being here, whether you're new or whether you've been rocking with me since we had 37 subscribers. All right. That one already had a slit in it. It's such a big piece of flesh, like it just tears. So be careful handling it, y'all. Try to keep it flat. All right. Since I'm using the same spoon in here with the raw salmon, I'm going to go ahead and use all of it. And that's why I tasted it before. And it tastes good on its own. But that was your opportunity. If you wanted to salt and pepper more, you could. Only pants. Anthony says it's only pants a thing. No, sweetheart, I made it up. Because lead attorney's always asking some mess about starting an OnlyFans channel. I said one day, you will not find me on OnlyFans. You may find me on OnlyPans, but y'all know where to find Maggie. Mm -mm. Believe me, the eyes are always watching. And I just want to represent myself well and represent you all well. Oh, man, y'all. Let me turn this on the side. A little messy. This could be a great like date night meal. Um, if you want to give this to the kids, I'm sure, you know, they would love it. All right. All right, y'all. So the ones that are a little bit uh, torn open, we'll put those in the air fryer. Um, the ones that are a little bit more uniform, we'll put those in the pan. All right. I think we got everything. All right. Let's clean this up. You got to see, oh, <laughs> stuff the salmon. Yeah, I think when you came in, we had already done it. But just so uh, I know people come in at different times, I'll just go back. They use a knife and turn it on its side. And it said, cut a pocket into the thick part of the salmon. So that's what we did. We just took the salmon fillets, turned them on their side and stuffed them. All right. Oh, boy. 10 plus salmon says nothing like our only pans. You asked, won't the salmon get thinner as it's cooked? Let's see what happens. All right, let's take a look. So we've already done step four. We combine the cream cheese. This is what it's supposed to look like. So I probably, I'm already looking at it now. I didn't make a long enough slit. I should have gone like almost all the way down to the tail. So just cut it carefully and try and go as far down as you can. Kia says it looks really good. Thank you, my dear. All right. And then in step six, we're ready to cook. Large skillet, heat one tablespoon of olive oil. Um, over medium high, cook the salmon four minutes on each side until golden. All right, so let's go ahead and put some in the air fryer. Oh, it's in here. So I'm just gonna line the bottom tray with foil. For 
easy cleanup. What's the thing around here? The spoon. I don't know, y'all. Sometimes I try to stay on top of the comments, but sometimes I I miss it. Okay. So y'all want to do half and half. So we're going to put two uh, so select two salmon fillets here, and then the two will change this out and do the pan. So usually I spray the foil, but I'm not because we had brushed both sides with olive oil. Oh, the salmon is packed with flavor. <gasps> Ebony! Ebony! and ivory thank you so much sweetheart we have a co-sponsor thank you for the ten dollars with the jamaican love and the ghana love you know i'm your ghana girl i appreciate it so much all right so let's see which two this one looks pretty intact we'll see if we can pan fry that this one kind of broke so let's get this one so i uh got a little bit so let's put that here and then yeah that one's okay this one completely broke but we're not gonna waste oh gosh I got it coming out the sides y'all all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the air fryer on the fish setting it's usually like 10 minutes but these are pretty thick so we want them to cook and you know salmon once it cooks, it's going to start turning kind of that pasty white. Mom taught me to cook with all of my senses, so we'll look at all of the color as it goes, okay? Oh, it's not level. Oh, it is level. No? There we go. All right, so it's starting at 325. We may want to cook it up, but we'll start low and slow. Let's clean up and get the cooktop here. All right, so where Blue says, yes, I have an oven air fryer. This is the Power XL, and it is an oven style. It has different shelves, so you can cook multiple things in there. So yes, but if you have the pool drawer air fryer, that'll work as well. Sorry, y'all. Did I hear something? All right. Let's um, put our stuff away and get ready to cook. We just need a pan, only pans, and olive oil. Thank you so much, Ebony. Only pans is a thing around here. Ah, what does uh, Ebony say? In Jamaica, we put vegetables in the whole fish and then roast on an open fire or in the oven. Sounds incredible. Some peppers. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of peppers and our cook along yesterday. All right, I'm going to move this behind me just so we can get our cooktop. Then we're going to put these in the pan. All right. Stay right there. Right. Miss Aisha's, um, Brandon, I'm going to have to get to these. I'm going to just put them in the fridge for now. Well, out of the way. Okay. All right, so let's get our cooktop. I'm imagining Miss Aisha's peppers from yesterday. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> y'all are saying hello to everyone. Absolutely. So let's get our cooktop. You may have seen one of these on Miss Aisha's show. I love sending her little things. All right. So this is the duck top cooktop. It's on my cheat sheet, class notes, something. But this allows me to cook here. My stove and oven does work, but it keeps me from walking back and forth. And I'm using the Tasty nonstick cookware. Link is also on the cheat sheet. So I got this out of the dishwasher. Let me just get a little bit of water out of the sides from the dishwasher to the oven for storage. <sighs> oh, where Blue says, how do you freeze fish properly? I would probably Try and get it as close to like, if you bought frozen fish um, and it's in those shrink wraps, I just use a sandwich bag, but I squeeze the air out of it. Um, and then, you know, put it in the freezer. I wouldn't let it stay too, too long, 
but I would just go ahead and portion it out, season it if you want to. Just know that when you thaw out fish or any meat, uh, you're gonna have those ice crystals in it, so you're gonna really need to blot it dry. All right, let's turn this on, and let's put the olive oil in here. All right, it says a tablespoon at this point. I'm just measuring with my heart, so this is uh, olive oil. I should use my MCT coconut oil, however, that oil has a slow smoke point. Hey, Lisa. Low smoke point, which means it gets really smoky. It's not good for pan fry. Olive oil, avocado oil, I think grapeseed oil. There's some that can take the heat. You can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, right? All right. All right. Mm, lemony. Clean it up. Goodness, I gotta watch the clock. We got the Wives Club at 7.30. Brandon, we're starting with you. Tonight is our smoke show. So we got about 30 minutes and I gotta get actually less than that. All right, so we're getting this heated up. Let's see what it says. Just wipe this down. All right, so medium skillet, medium high, I'm sorry, skillet, olive oil, medium high heat. Cook the salmon four minutes, on, four minutes on each side until golden and cooked to 145. Yeah, at this point, we're measuring with our heart, y'all. <laughs> All right, I just kind of put my hand over. Can I feel the heat? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Sorry. All right. When I get tired, I'm just like, ah. All right, so we're going to try and put this down. Let me get this just stuffed. Get in there. All right. Skin side, flesh side. Skin side, flesh side. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's look. All right. I don't even know if they have the skin on it, but let's just go in. Skin side, okay. Skin side going down, Miss Tina. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. All right, these are pretty thick, but we'll do four minutes while we clean up, all right? We're gonna take a 32-minute uh, uh, commercial, all right? I'm not going anywhere, I'm just giving y'all some music. I'm gonna clean up and mute while we have our four minutes.
know if y'all can even hear the music. So I'm going to turn this down. We have one minute left. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we got some in the air fryer. Let's take a look at the one we have in the air fryer. You love the base? Was it good? And I'm testing too. You all remember with the restream when I would come back from, um, oh, let me unmute. Okay. When I would come back from putting y'all on music, um, it would be choppy. So I'm just trying out all of the features. 50 more seconds. And then we're going to carefully turn that over. It's looking really good in there. We'll turn this over and then we'll do a, a temperature check on the other one. Okay, we're going to use two utensils to try and turn it over. 15 seconds. All right. It says after that, four minutes and then serve immediately with lemon wedges. So we'll start getting our salad or. All right. All right. Let's see if we can turn this over carefully. Alexa, stop. We got crispy skin. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Let's see how the one in the air fryer is going. Looking good. Let me do a quick temperature check. done at 145. Hey, Chelsea, thank you for being here, sweetheart. All right. Let's see if I can get this together. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. So let's make sure oh, we're on Celsius. I always got to check that. Make sure it's on Fahrenheit. 145. Let's do like five more minutes. Well, hold up. Might be done, y'all. You like the pan? Come on. Come on. No. All right, let's just do a couple more minutes. I think it looks really good. But it says 145. Let's just do a couple more minutes until we get to 145. You like the cookie? I don't have another lemon. You would like the pan sear? Oh, you need to rewatch the, the collab. It was great. All right, one more minute. I think we're good. For a good sear, hot oil, nonstick pan, and kind of leave it. That's how you get that nice char. 145 is the temperature. Uh oh.
internal temperature of 145. I'm going to turn this off and we're going to take it off. See if I can put. My lemon's kind of janky, but I'm going to try to make the photo. Smells incredible. Jurgen says it looks good. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Alexa, stop. Let me turn this one off. Ah! Okay. We're going to get it. That's why you need a fish turner or spatula. Alexa, stop. Much better. I had one that kind of fell apart, the cheesy part. And let's get the two. <sighs> hey, Shelby. All right, let's get the one from the air fryer and then you all can choose. All right, let's do our temperature check. Can you all see? Something tells me it's done, but we'll put it in there. You can tell the sear, we'll just put this back in. What do y'all think? I'm looking at the sides and I think it's good. It looks gorgeous. All right. All right, since Condemia's here, we're going to do I'll just wipe this up and we'll do the, the Cajun bites. Should we do them in the air fryer? But yeah, this looks really good. Looks really, really good. <laughs> You'll take both. <laughs> All right. So I was going to make a quick salad. I'll just make the salad and um, I'll have the stuffed salmon. I was going to say I could do the... Um, the crispy Cajun bites, if y'all want me to do those in the air fryer. Air fry for six to eight minutes. I can do both. Let's do both. All right, I'm gonna put the other pieces here and take a picture, make a quick salad. But in the meantime, because we got like just a few minutes, I'm gonna get another air fryer tray. Tracy says you pay $30 for this. Okay, I got a plate it for you. We're going to do the air fry salmon because I got to go straight from here. Careful with the thick pieces. Okay. So we'll put them back in there. I will just spray a little bit. And then the Cajun bites that we have behind me, I'll put those in. Because this recipe, literally, all we have to do is season them, air fry for six to eight minutes at 375. All right. And I think that's probably what I should have done. And we'll just let this rest. I want this burnt piece so bad. <laughs> all right. So this is our Cajun salmon that's been sitting. I'm just going to put skin side down and pop these in the air fryer for our little salmon bites, salmon nuggets. So we use up everything and then I'll marinate the ones that brand wanted. I'm gonna leave the skin side down. Just kind of toss them on here. This is a great way, I know Miss Aisha does this with her steak. Uh, she cuts it into small pieces, especially when you're feeding picky kids so you don't waste. Um, this is a great way to introduce food 
um, you know, to kids so you don't give them a big, if you know you're going to eat it, <laughs> then have the whole filet. But if you, you know, aren't sure that they're going to eat it, you can cut more expensive protein steak, fish into little bites like this. And we'll do 375 for six minutes. Let these cook. I'll make a salad, put that on top, and um, we'll be done. I left the other ones in the air fryer. We're just going to switch those out. Take a quick picture for you all. <laughs> I know Rodney's ready for the taste test. I have so much fun with you all. All right. Just kind of keep them separate so that the hot air can get around them. And all this was was Cajun seasoning. All right. So these are going to go in the air fryer. Let me see. Let me take the other ones out. Running out of hands. All right, 375, oh, six minutes, eight minutes, 375. All right, so let's plate this. Looks good. Running out of space. All right. I know exactly. Ah, I'm looking at the clock. We got the wise club tonight, y'all. All right. So let me make a quick spinach salad, like three ingredients. Spinach. So let me make a quick picture. And just move all of this. For anyone who just hopped on, this was the goal. Let's make a quick plate. We'll take a quick picture of this and then make a salad. And we'll try to angle so we don't get this janky piece in there. The salmon looks amazing. Thank you, Kia. I'm going to taste it, y'all. Oh. All right. Woo! 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 I do my own photos. So try to get that janky piece off the side. Some with the flash. All right. So let's do our video. Thank you, Miss Aisha, for your stuffed salmon suggestion. We did two on the stove with a nice pan sear. We did two in the air fryer stuffed with goat's cheese, spinach, garlic powder, salt, and pepper with fresh lemon wedges on the side. All right. So, got our salmon here. All right, 
people always used to ask me, did you make that? Yeah, I made that. I do my own sound effects. You know it. I'm a one, I'm a one Maggie band. All right, let's get a quick uh, plate for a salad. Oh, ah, I'm getting the home plate. So let me get a regular, a nice plate for y'all. All right, these are cooking up. White plate for the green spinach. The janky piece is the one you want, me too. Me too, I'm so greedy. I want that big crusty piece. So since the flesh had kind of torn, the, um, the, the filling kind of oozed out onto the pan. All right, just disperse a few. Mom says three colors on your plate. All right, perfect. And then if you can have feta, have feta. Y'all know me with the goat's cheese. And then I'm going to put, I'll do a balsamic glaze. You could do your dressing and I always do my glaze and dressing underneath the protein so the protein <laughs> shines. <laughs> that crusty piece is the best. All right, so let's, a little drizzle. Oh, I went off the plate. All right, then we're gonna put, all right y'all, for the picture, I'm gonna put this piece or should I put the crusty piece? <laughs> Everybody wants the janky piece. Okay, for the photo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Janky piece or just for the photo, y'all. Or should I, okay, for y'all, you want the janky piece? You got the janky piece. I'm gonna put it crossways. Oh, let me take a picture. I'm so greedy. I want to eat it right now. I'm so greedy. Oh, okay, don't look here. We got the... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's take one more picture. And then we got to eat because I got to go. Y'all, this is beautiful. I'm gonna take, see if I can get a picture. And just a couple pieces. One second, food styling. A little pop of white. Focus, Maggie. Thank you, Miss Aisha, for the recommendation of the stuffed salmon. I put it over a bed of spinach with goat's cheese, cherry tomatoes, and crumbled, um, oh, balsamic glaze. Enjoy. Y'all, I can't. This is when I get excited. I know. Eat the janky piece. Use the other one for the picture. I know, right? All right, y'all. to get in for a proper bite. Oh, it's coming off. Oh my gosh. Let's get some salmon flaking nicely with the spinach, with the tomato, with the feta, with the balsamic glaze.
in my mind. Do 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 do. Another one bites the dust. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm coming. This is a lot. Look at this deliciousness. I should make another salad. This is really what I wanted to pop all over my greedy. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've got crispy skin. Mm. Okay, y'all. I'm about to hurt myself. Another one bites the dust. Y'all, let me thank you because I got to go open the bridge for the wives club. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you, Miss Aisha. Thank y'all for being here. This was so much fun. This has got that salty, crusty, crispy. Cutting it into small pieces like that, you get that texture. The big filet gives you that flaky creaminess. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I will stream again tomorrow. What am I making? I don't know. When am I making it? I don't know. But I will be here, uh, God willing. Thank you all for liking the live stream, whether you're watching live or the replay. Thank you, Real Bravado Network. Thank you, Ebony X, for the support. All of y'all are supporting. If you want to know how I monetized my YouTube channel and now monetized on Facebook, I do have a course. You can check it out, preview it for free. <gasps> we missed you. Mm. Thane, we missed you. I ordered the fufu. I mean, the puff puff. Oh my goodness, I was just thinking about you. Oh. I know you saw the replay because you commented. I made this with Nana. I have been thinking about you, Thane, 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 with the heavy hands coming through. I have no words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so greedy. Mm. Y'all, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So nice and juicy. Can y'all even see? Oh. Mm. I have no words. Mm. Thank you. Dang. Oh, he said he saw the whole thing from vacation. <laughs> well, I'm glad. You all are always welcome here. So tonight we made the sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free stuffed spinach, I mean stuffed salmon over a salad or the crispy Cajun bites. Oh my gosh, y'all. Thank you. People are always watching. I appreciate you so, so much. I appreciate you so, so much. All of you. Um, Thane, I would put your name up on the board, but thank you. So <laughs> hop on over if you want more of Maggie, but a more serious side, hop on over to the wives club. Um, I have created a channel based on a session that I booked with Kevin a couple years ago before he passed. And uh, he always used to say, Kevin Samuels, where are the older women to teach the young? And it just got to me every time he said that. So I've created a community and that's what we talk about over there. That's going to be the smoke show. If you want to <laughs> ask us any questions, we are starting. Let me get my janky self together. And uh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so happy to be a blessing to you. You all are a blessing to me. Let me get myself together. I will see you all soon on the other channel. Thank you all for being here. Bye.